Hello and welcome to the first episode of this series where we go through all the necessary steps to perform the two-step PCR procedure that we are employing at our lab at Aqua that is part of IBV and again part of UIO. My name is Evan Werner and I will go through the entire process from start to finish with you. But before you can even start about thinking about the two-step PCR we are using, it's very important that you do all the necessary healthy and safety courses that are mandatory for working in the lab. And this has to be done to even be allowed. But now to the procedure itself. Because we use a two-step PCR procedure that the first step amplifies the target we are interested in and the second step attaches the index primer that let us trace back the samples, uh, the DNA to the given samples. And the reason why we use a two-step PCR is that it gives us a lot of flexibility when it comes to uh, finding different targets and switching targets, but it also lessens some of the PCR biases that we can encounter. But it also gives some extra challenges because it gives more steps that needs to be done in the correct way, and that's why I'm here, to show you the important steps to succeed in this lab procedure. And the first step is, of course, the preparation step that this episode will be about. The second step is doing the first PCR. Then we will go to the first cleaning and the first gel. And then we have a second PCR and a second cleaning, a second gel, and lastly, the quantification of the amount of DNA we get at the end. So, to find the necessary courses and material, we can log on to our computers and go into the molecular lab in the Dropbox folder. Here we have all the necessary lab rules that need to be followed. Uh, we also have all the SOPs, standing operating procedures, that you need to bring to the lab. And I would highly recommend bringing a copy of it on paper because it's very helpful not to need to go to the computer all the time. It's good to have some paper to read on. Okay, so when you now are familiar with all the theoretical steps in the procedure and you have done all the necessary training to be here, we are now ready to start the actual practical work. And the most important thing uh, for actually working in lab is to have a clean and tidy working space. So then we move the computer and also the protocol. So we have a very free and open space. We get a plastic bag that will contain our trash. And trash management is also very important when you are working in the lab. Keep it tidy and clean up after yourself. The next thing is to clean the benches. And here we use 10% bleach and 70% ethanol. So we distribute the bleach first to the bench, let it sit for five to 10 minutes. We take some paper and wipe it off. And thorough cleaning will prevent a lot of the issues with the PCR because contamination is the highest risk we have in this procedure. Then we add the ethanol to the entire bench Aye. and let it sit for five to ten minutes and then we repeat the procedure of taking some paper towels and clean it off. Yes. So, now when we have a clean working environment, we can start organizing the stuff we need here. But we also need not only a clean, but a sterile working environment when we are going to do PCRs, especially on bacteria. And this leads me 
to the UV cabinet and the stair bench, which is over there.